Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can turn on, off, and reset our Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the clear or on key with the shift function of off that looks like this located here, and the F1, F2, F5, and F6 keys look like this, located across the top here. Getting started, if our calculator is off and we want to start working with it, all we have to do is press the AC or ON key, and that will bring up our screen. If we're done working with our calculator and want to turn it off to save batteries, what we do is press SHIFT and then the ON key. That'll give us that Casio screen and then turn off. We're now saving our battery power so that we don't accidentally run out in the middle of our exam. If we're using our calculator and all of a sudden it starts giving us weird results, it might be set to the wrong kind of setting. If we don't know what this is specifically, we can reset our calculator to its default settings. To do this, we press the menu key and then scroll all the way to the right and down until we see system. And we select that with the EXE key and that gives us the system manager menu. We see down here in F5, the reset menu. So we press F5 and that brings us to the reset menu. First we have F1, reset setup data. This will reset our settings, so degrees or radians mode, that sort of thing. And if we're getting weird results on our calculator, this is probably the one we want to use. So to use that, we press F1. It'll ask us to confirm. F1 means yes, F6 means no. Since we want to confirm yes, we'll press F1. And it says reset. Our setup data has been reset to the default and our problem should be solved. We can exit out of the screen with the exit key. Our next option is the F2 main memory reset. This will reset the settings like F1 does, but it'll also reset our save data. So say values stored in the alpha keys, that sort of thing. To use this, again, we just press F2 and then F1. And our main memory has been reset. There are some other options here, like our add-on applications that we can reset, our storage memory, which is our more long-term memory, both our add-on and storage memory. And if we go to F6, our F1 option here is our main and storage memory. Our F2 option is our initialize all, so all options. And F3 is reset one, which is all of the above except some applications. I wouldn't recommend using any of these unless you know exactly what you're doing. I would stick to these F1 and F2 setup data and main memory data. But what if you can't get to this menu? Let's say your screen's frozen and your buttons aren't working. What you can do is a manual reset. To do this, turn your calculator over and you'll see a button on the back that says restart. Find a small pointed object, like a pencil or a pin, and then press that button in the back in until you feel it go in, and then release. Your screen will go blank, and then it'll come back to the main menu, and your calculator will have been reset. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.